So to measure the melting point of aspirin that you've made, firstly you've got to make a tube. So I'm just using a capillary tube and you can see it's sort of hollow in the center. So I need to make it so that it's round at the bottom. So I'm just going to put it inside the flame and keep turning it because if you don't turn it then it gets too hot and it actually bends like a hockey stick. So I'll keep turning it. I, you will notice I'm doing it without a glove, it's just in case I get too, it gets too warm. But you need to get it hot enough that it will start to melt. So that's it going. It's starting to go. But even when you take it out of the flame, keep turning. Otherwise it could still go in a stick for as long as it's hot. It's nearly closed over. go so if I show you that now you can see that it's now sealed at the bottom so you're gonna need at least two of these to then put your aspirin inside to determine melting point okay. so now you've made a tube for your aspirin or to put any salt that you're going to test the melting point in you want to put the crystals inside so to do this I often find to so take the open end tap it to the bottom and you can see I'm starting to get some crystals in it I'm now then going to tap it off the bench get the crystals to go down you may also have to flick it gently with your finger as I'm flicking it they're falling down to the bottom and now I have lots of crystals like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my melting point apparatus and put the tube in the side. So if I get it there, you can slightly see the thermometer hole and there's three small holes above it. So I've already put one sample tube in um, that I prepared with the salt or with the aspirin, and now I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to put it right up to high temperature and I've looked up at what temperature roughly this should melt and you can't really see this you can see the salt crystal when I wiggle it and and also then have a thermometer so now I've turned it on it will start to heat up and then I'm looking for the point at which the white crystals will um, essentially uh, melt and if you're quite often left with like a little bit of brown liquid you won't see the crystals anymore and I want to record the temperature at which this happened um, that they melt so that's what we're looking for and I'll just show you what it looks like at the end. So it's a good idea to find out what the rough melting point of the substance you're testing is beforehand and then start to... I've let the temperature raise very quick and it's now around the 100 degrees and I think it's around the 110 mark so I'm gonna turn down the heat because I don't want to miss the end point. So you can see it's starting to go. There's now a gap in the tube, so I'm just going to call that the end point now. And I'll show you the thermometer. So. Yeah, so now you need to repeat and do the same again. This is the second one. And at that point you can see now all the white crystals have gone. I'll just show you the thermometer again. Okay. 